What's up guys, this is Ashish Tiwai here and you are watching Techno Tips ASP.NET MVC tutorial. So this is part 52 of this video series and here I'm gonna discuss about how to use auto mapper in ASP.NET MVC. Okay, so an auto mapper is very useful library that's gonna help you in object to object mapping. Okay, so we will discuss in detail. So let's get it started. In the previous tutorial, we have discussed about how to send OTP on your mobile devices using text local API. So go and watch part 51 for this. And before part 51, we have discussed about the jQuery data table. Here you can find several functionality like adding record, editing record, displaying list of record, searching and then pagination. Let's look at this list. Okay. So here you will see that in the uh, document.ready method I'm just calling here the get employee record which is present in my test controller so here you can see get employee record so I am here you can see this object so this is my employee view model and this is the list and I'm just getting the record uh, from the database see this is a search parameter and here is the else condition so under the several condition I am just returning this list and this list and uh, this record is coming from the database okay okay so for simplicity I have just written the same code here let me uncomment that so here I'm just getting record from the database and I'm binding uh, this list into this employee view model okay and I'm using this onto my view okay so here one thing you should notice that I'm just directly calling the database in the controller which is not recommended so in later video session I'll just explain about the repository pattern so there I will have different class libraries like uh, we have several layers like business layers uh, we have the data access layer so there we will just call this database so for that we will have some different model also let's say employee domain model I already have created a separate model for this uh, here we have the employee domain model which have the same attribute which is present in the employee view model you can compare that employee ID name department okay so everything is fine here okay everything every attribute is similar okay so instead of employee view model we will use the employee domain model all right so let me call it as EMP domain list okay so here I'm just getting record from the database so we need to copy this domain model data into my employee view model okay so let me create another list that is employee view model view model okay now my my objective is to copy data from this model domain model to this employee view model all okay. right so for that and I'll just use this employee VM list for my view if you use the old method then you need to copy you need to use the for each for each loop to copy uh, data from employee domain model to employee view model so here uh, here you can see this example so I'm just looping through the each record present in the employee domain model here and finally I'll just add item to this list okay let me run this project and let's see what's gonna happen here all right so we are using function f10 to see function f10 okay so we have the department we have got the department from the department table and here we got the employee 
employee record into the employee domain model here you can see address department ID okay and here the employee VM is empty right now and we need to look through each you know record present in this employee domain model all right so I'm just making continue okay so we will have all 15 record uh, now present in this model also and we can use this employee view model later so now let me use the auto mapper in just a single line of code you can do a lot of stuffs you don't need to write this code here okay we'll use the auto mapper so you just need to use auto mapper dot mapper dot map and here you will pass the source from the destination okay so your source here to your destination okay so that's it to install the auto mapper just right click on the reference and manage NuGet package okay just right here the auto mapper okay here you will get the result and you just need to install it all right I already have installed it and added to my reference here you can see auto mapper that's it so for auto mapper we need to create a profile okay so so just create a folder here add new folder let's say infrastructure okay and there I'll just create a class I'm just setting up the auto mapper profile okay let's create a class auto mapper vape profile okay so I have just added it here we are going to use auto mapper dot profile all right and here we will use a constructor so public constructor all right and here we will use create map okay and there we will pass our two models like we have just used our two model here so one is domain so copy domain here from domain model to view model all right and just resolve it using MBC model and there you just need to close this bracket okay and you just need to make sure you have just done the reverse mapping okay suppose you are posting something from view then again you just need to map to reverse all right now here you can create a static method to add your auto auto mapper wave profile okay so public static white let's say run auto mapper dot mapper dot initialize there you can see you need to add a profile here mapper dot 
sorry in bracket in curly braces a dot add profile you will see this method here and add profile and here you will pass your class okay and this is and just put a single bracket here all right so we are all done there we will have this and the semicolon should be closed and control KD all right and now in the here we have in the global dot sx we need to call that static method so auto mapper wave profile dot run go to resolve and use all right So here you have your auto mapper wave profile and here we have just uh, created a, a static void method and uh, there we are just adding the auto mapper profile okay so we are just passing this class and here we have the constructor let me cut it and paste it on the top all right so we have the constructor there we are just creating the map between employee domain model to employee view model okay and we also have the reverse mapping okay so here on the startup this profile will run this code is very necessary before using the auto mapper otherwise you will get an error all right so let me cut all this and now we are ready to go in the controller let me check out whether this is copying data from this to this or not okay so let's run this all right so we are here and let me remove this breakpoint here okay let me the continue is getting record from the database and here we have the record from the DB so we have 15 record and in the employee VM list we have count 0 and function F10 we are using auto mapper so here you can see we have the VM list now it is filled you can see the count here 15 and here also we have count 15 if you extend it and you will see India uh, department name same property so so in this way you can copy data from you know one model to other model let me use it into you know the actual model whether it is uh, showing displaying the record or not okay so first of all remove the breakpoint and stop debugging Okay, and here instead of employee view model we will just use and mm -mm. let me just copy both method here control X there's no use of it and we are just using the same in this more okay so we have the employee VM list instead of this equal to new employee domain model we have created this and we have created the object of both here let me cut that and if we are just passing this item into the list here so 
employee list let me use this list here okay and here we can just comment it out all right and here instead of few model we will use those okay so automapper.map here will map this list to employee vm list right and we will return this employee vm list here and that list should be you know our domain domain data here employee domain model okay so where we are getting the error here employee domain model and then we have employee domain model and then if we have you know here employee domain model okay so everywhere we have just used the employee domain model and finally we have just used auto mapper to copy this list of data into my employee vm model okay i have defined it on the top okay now let me run this and let's check out whether it is working or not let's run it all right so we have just got the same data here okay Here you can see let's put a breakpoint again and just reload it so before mapping we have the list data in you know in this list present in the domain model okay and we are just copying directly into the employee vm list all right so let's function f10 now we will have the employee vm list filled with the same count okay now continue okay so in this way you can use the auto mapper so thank you very much and if you like this video then give a thumbs up don't forget to share this video among your friend and have a great day